Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and the Democrat plans against former President Donald Trump have backfired spectacularly. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Guys, they've tried everything against Trump. You had the Russia collusion nonsense, the impeachment nonsense. You had the mystery tape that existed of him with some women that never appeared nonsense. You had the Ukraine call nonsense. Uh, and now it's just, let's remove him from the ballot nonsense. They've tried everything against this man, including 91 felony counts. And now the people at MSNBC, you know, Liberal Central, they're pushing the panic button because everything they've tried has only improved Trump's chances of becoming the next president of the United States. And now they're starting to realize the mistake they made, and it's too late. And to watch this video is absolutely fantastic. To watch them absolutely freaked at what they've done to themselves. It, you know what? It's comedy gold, and I'm going to let you watch it. But before I do, I want to ask you again to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, it does really help us out and help our channel continue to grow. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now let's watch that video. We see in this field, when does it start to trim down? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people are hoping that it trims down quickly, right? That some people will leave and, you know, maybe Ron DeSantis, Chris Christie, and give Nikki Haley, um, who has that momentum, um, get a chance to go possibly one-on-one -on -one with Donald Trump. I think you you start seeing usually people leaving around New Hampshire, right? Oh, Iowa may have been a fluke. I'm going to try New Hampshire. Chris Christie, for example, just up with two ads in New Hampshire, a seven-figure buy. So he's probably not going anywhere until New Hampshire. And you have uh, Nikki Haley, who is a daughter of South Carolina, who's definitely going to want to stay until South Carolina. I think, but one thing to keep in mind is at the end of March, we'll have about 70% of the delegates doled out in this primary. So whether folks get out before the end of March, we'll have probably have an answer about who the nominee will be pretty soon. Hmm. March still feels pretty far away. Eugene Daniels, <laughs> thanks so much for breaking that down for us. Well, to figure out where we're going in 2024 politics, let's take a look back at what unfolded during this very eventful year. NBC's Steve Kornacki takes us through the polling, which could give us a preview of what's to come. All right, well, we are approaching once every four years, the big one, the presidential election year 2024 almost upon us. So let's take a look here at how politics have kind of and how the election of 2024 has kind of taken shape in 23 and the big questions we're looking at as 2024 kicks off. So first of all, who's going to be the Republican nominee, presumably against Joe Biden at the start of 2023? This seemed like a very uh, up in the air question. You can see the trend line for the candidates. And remember, at the start of 23, Republicans were coming off a pretty rough midterm. Term. Candidates who'd been closely aligned with Donald Trump had lost key races in 2022. At the start of 23, Ron DeSantis was running pretty close in the poll average to Donald Trump. And then look what happened. It just exploded here for Trump and went the other way for DeSantis. What happened right around here in the calendar? That was when the first indictment of Trump came down, the one from the Manhattan District Attorney. It almost seems to have triggered a rally around Trump effect among Republicans. And that's just held all year through all the legal drama and everything else that's happened. And here we are at the end of the year. And in the average, Trump just, you know, lengths, open lengths ahead of Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley and Ramaswamy and Christie, too, for that matter. So uh, we'll see in the early contest if any of those candidates are going to have a shot here to beat Trump. They're probably going to have to make some noise, whether it's DeSantis in Iowa. He seems to really be trying to plant his flag there. Haley in New Hampshire. She's gotten some encouraging polling news there. Can one of them beat Trump in one of these early states? Of course, Haley, South Carolina, will play a key role among the early states as well. Can one of them beat Trump in the early states and make this a race? That is what we're going to find out in the first six weeks or so of 2024. How about the Democratic end of things? Joe Biden seems poised to be the Democratic nominee. What kind of year is he at political?